Hi everyone, it's me, it's Lady Goddess. Hi, um, I am so excited um, for this weekend. Um, I'm finally off tomorrow, so I get to relax. Um, I've had a very, very busy week, guys, um, but I hope everyone's having a beautiful week so far. I hope everyone's feeling all the love around them, and I hope everyone is just having a lot of good days and just feeling blessed in general. Um, so I wanna talk again about my contest, which ends tomorrow, okay? So I am giving away two free readings. They're gonna be an hour long a piece, okay? And we could talk about anything. If you wanna talk about multiple topics, that's fine. If you wanna just talk about one thing, that's absolutely fine. The only thing I need you to do is to subscribe to my channel, okay? And send me an email. The email address will be in the description box and tell me why you think I should give you a free reading, okay? I will pick out the two lucky winners. Um, I think I'll do it on Monday and I'll do another reading that night, okay? And um, I hope whoever receives their readings that they really, really love them because I just wanna do this for you. I have been reading tarot cards for so many years and I love it. This is actually my sanctuary. Like when I mean that this gives me peace and I just feel so um, at home when I'm doing this. And I don't just read the tarot. I do a lot of other things. I could just do a regular intuitive reading, but um, I don't know. There's something about just looking at the images on these cars and just being drawn to them and just feeling like so deep within my soul that this is like a story that just is tied to these cards and I need to express it. It's just a really wonderful feeling. So I love um, doing these readings for you guys. Um, I look forward to it. I think about it while working. What kind of reading should I do tonight? Um, but I really, really, really just love it okay and i want to grow this channel um to be just a wonderful amazing channel where people can go to see free readings but also we can do meditations everything i want to do twin flame readings relationship readings health um life and career readings past life readings everything okay so tonight's reading is going to be what are the current feelings of your partner what is your partner's current feelings towards you how does your partner see you okay so we're going to do it in three different piles so this would be pile one pile two and pile three i am using tonight three different decks I'm using the Dreams of Gaia Tarot by Ray, I think it's Raven Phelan. Absolutely love this deck. I'm also using the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. And then I'm also using the Whispers of Love Tarot, little oracle deck. And I'm trying to find out, let me just look for one second. The Whispers of Love. And this is from Angela Hartfield. So those are the three different decks that I'm gonna be using tonight, okay? So like I say in all my videos, just concentrate on the person in question. And whichever pile you're drawn to is gonna be the pile with your answer, okay? And if you have a couple different people that you want to ask this question to, like you want to know what their intentions, like how they're feeling towards you or how they see you, then feel free to pick more than one pile. I just wouldn't pick all three, but this is your reading and this is your time to get the answers that you want. So you can do whatever you want. Okay, I'll put the timestamps down below. Okay, you're just going to concentrate on your person. And then we'll get started on this reading. Okay. So again, pile one, 
Part two, part three. All right, guys, let's get started on this reading. So how does your person of interest, how do they feel about you? Like, what are their feelings? What are their intentions? How do they see you? Let's find out. Okay, first card is actions speak loudly. Ooh, the gatekeeper. It's in reverse. Two of swords. Ten of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. You know what? I'm just going to put the Four of Pentacles over here so that way you can see it. Okay. Aren't these cards gorgeous, guys? The dreams of guys and absolutely all three decks I'm actually using tonight are amazing. Okay, so for those who picked pile one, I feel the person that you're asking about definitely sees you as being, um, Definitely, definitely sees you as being a person that is accomplished, um, a person who has it all, pretty much. You're very well, um, you're very well known in your career, and if you're not very well known in your career, you're very successful in all your endeavors. Um, I see you that you could also be a person that dresses very, very well, that has a very sharp eye for fashion as you can see in this card here. Um, also a very giving person, a person who um, just likes to help other people. Um, Cause you can see in this picture here, you see how this girl is like giving, it almost looks like she's giving a bowl or a cup to someone. Now these cards have different meanings, um, regular tarot. Um, I'm actually going a little bit against the meanings. I'm going by what the pictures are in the cards, okay, guys? So if you do own this deck and you feel like I'm not going by the actual meanings, I'm just reading from the cards intuitively, okay? So I feel like this person feels like you're very, very generous. You're very giving. You're um, very beautiful. You take care of yourself. You um, are a person that... Um, is very well dressed. Um, also, I feel like this person sees you as someone that's very, very intuitive, that seems to know things before they happen. As you can see in this picture, it looks like she has a third eye. Um, also, a person that is um, very, can I explain it? Um, you have a very natural beauty to yourself. Like, and I'm talking about this could be for either a man or a woman. I mean, if you're a man, this could definitely, you know, mean that, you know, you just dress very well. But I feel like this person feels that you have a delicate look to yourself, but also you are very, a very natural beauty. Um, a person who um, doesn't really need to wear like... Um, to really like if you're a woman you don't really need to dress up meaning like you don't have to dress your face up you don't have to wear a lot of makeup but I do see you being a person who loves like loves clothes loves you know loves to um shop loves the finer things in life I also see um that they feel about you that you're also a person that um is very very smart okay um i get that this person also feels that you can be even though you're very generous you're very nice you can be very giving to people um there's an aspect of you that you do not give yourself fully in a sense because i feel like in this picture you see how this woman looks like she's going to be putting on a mask meaning that sometimes you hide yourself from the world you hide your true emotions 
you don't really speak up what's on your mind. You almost put up a facade for other people because of the fact that you um, want to just be constantly perceived that this person who has it all. Um, and I think that this person that you're inquiring about sees this in you. They see you as um, a person who doesn't want to show um, any vulnerabilities at all. Because I feel like when I'm looking at this woman, I feel like she's beautiful. I feel like she has, um, she's well dressed. She's got everything that a person could possibly want. But when you look at her face, she almost has this cold look on her face, like a little standoffish, like don't look at me kind of look. And when I'm thinking of the two of swords, it's like two different dual personalities. You see that, how the guy is sitting there and one side of him is white and one side of him is dark. And I feel like I kind of get this for this particular person. So I feel like this person sees you as a person that even though you're very gracious, you're very loving, you're giving, there's also a side to you too that can be a little dark. Um, they see you as... as almost having two different personalities, like one personality that you put up for the world and then another personality that um, just is different, like a personality that maybe only a very, 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 very select few people see. Um, I also, picking this up, I feel like um, possibly in the past, This person maybe felt that you were a little cold to them. Even though you're, like I said, you're very warm, you're loving, very loving, very gracious in the eye of, in, in like to other people. But I feel like when this person was trying to get to know you, you almost kind of gave them like a cold, like a cold glaze, like, you know, gaze, like, don't look at me. You know what I mean? I feel like it took you a while to like for this person to get to know you like you didn't just kind of like warm up to them right away per se they felt like you didn't warm up to them right away um that you really don't um sometimes you just it's hard to explain you have a problem holding this image in front of other people your people that are in your field like where your career your your friends, but behind closed doors, I feel like you have problems with communication. That's why I feel like the duality here, like there's almost two different personalities. And I feel like this is how this person sees you. Like they almost want you to speak up a little bit more and express yourself a little bit more because you put this image up of such a perfectionist, like of being such a perfectionist, that they, it's like they almost know that you have a vulnerable side, but it's just that you just won't show it to anyone. Very, very interesting because I almost get the impression that this person would love for you to open up to them a little bit more and to let down the mask, take off the mask and to let them see your more emotional side because they want to see this. They want to, they know that you're giving, they know that you're loving to other people, but I almost feel like they could sense that you're a little cold, in a sense. That you're kind of like a little standoffish and they want you to speak up. They want you to say something that is, like if you have an issue or something, they want to be able to get closer to you and I feel like this person can't because they're intimidated by you because they feel like you have it all and that you're so successful in your career and with your family and with your friends but when it comes to them you kind of shut them out a little bit that's how I that's how I'm seeing that they see you as someone that has it all can be very loving can be very giving but it's like you have two different personalities one for the outside world and one for the inside and they kind of want to meet you in the middle somewhere because they feel like they don't want to see that 
glamorous side all the time. They want you to be more vulnerable. They want you to speak up. They want you to express their love a little bit more to them. They want you to be more in the present. They want you to, be, to spend a little bit more time with them and not be so focused on just your image. Like, I feel like for this group, your person sees you as someone that is so um, into their image that it's like you can't even have a hair out of place without like, you won't go out of your house if your hair is out of place. And you are all about work, all about work. Like you are just very, very controlling about everything in your life. And they just want you to just take a step back and just chill with them a little bit. Because see, the gay people card is all about, it says it right here, okay? Um, in a regular reading, basically this card means that you are okay with going with the flow. Like you can go basically into different kind of time dimensions and stuff like that, that you basically, um, you're okay with, you know, dreaming and just letting like the natural order of things go like you know you just like yeah okay I'm, I'm cool with it you know what I mean because the card itself says this is actually a very very cool card the card itself says fairy time time shifts dimensional slips like you can just go with the flow with everything in any kind of situation but when it's reversed it's almost a feeling like you won't go with the flow. You are so in control of your life and you keep such a tight like hold on everything that you have, whether it's your career, your possessions, everything is of super, super importance to you. And it's just like in sometimes I think your person just thinks that this is too much. And that's why they see you as like almost having two different personalities. So I think the best thing for you, if you're in pile one, is to maybe, if you don't feel like you are like this with your partner, maybe just to express your feelings a little bit more to them, express your love through your actions. That's why it says actions speak loudly because I feel like your partner almost feels a little bit iced out by you. And I'm really getting that big time from looking at that woman's picture with the Ten of Pentacles. Like, she in this car to me just looks so like beautiful and almost like a porcelain doll that you just don't want to touch. It's like, don't come near me. I don't want a hair out of place. Um, but at the same time, because you do have such an image that you, you know, uphold to the world, you can be a very loving and giving person. And I think that's how you perceive yourself. But your partner's also seeing yourself they also see you in a different light. And I feel like they want you to put down the image just a little bit and just be more real with them. And I really feel like that's how they see you. They see you as a person who just is like, has everything that they could possibly want in the world. Um, can be giving, can be loving, can be very loyal, very intuitive, very natural beauty, um, well-dressed, um, well-spoken. It's just that they feel like you just have to let it go. Like let your hair down a little bit every once in a while. Let your, you know, take off your tie every once in a while kind of thing. You know what I mean? Just like relax a little bit. Show them a different side to yourself that's not always so perfect. I think that's what they want from you. To just be more real. Okay? So that's the message that is coming to you sorry coming to me from pile one okay if this message resonated with you please subscribe to my channel please like the video comment below and if you want to share the fabulous me lady goddess please do that okay 
Sorry about that one, guys, but this is what I was getting. I'm a very honest reader, and this is the images that were I was just picking up when I was looking at these cards. And it's not that your partner does not love you because they seriously think you're amazing. They just want you to, you know, chill out a little bit. Not be so perfect 24-7. And there's a lot of people that are like that. Okay, so let's go for pile two. How did your partner see you? How do they feel for you? Show simple acts of kindness. Riddle Fisher. Beautiful cards. The Child. Queen of Fire. And Healing. Just move this over so you could see this gorgeous image. Okay. For the people that picked Pile 2, I feel like your partner sees you as a person who is a very authoritative, very fiery, very passionate, um, basically has a very, very strong personality. The queen of fire usually predicted as um, a fire sign. You don't have to be a fire sign because this is a general reading, but you are a very strong, a very passionate, very fiery person. You um, have a very big, warm heart. You are very giving, you're very loyal. Um, you just basically wanna like love everyone. You just have such a beauty about you. Um, I feel like because the eyes are so pronounced in this um, card that you're a person that um, I think your partner thinks you have amazing eyes. Um, you love animals. Um, you are, as you can see also here in this picture, there's an animal there, there's a bird here. Um, this guy has a snake here, a little, um, a little frog. So I feel like you're a person who loves animals, very passionate, very fiery, um, a very standout beauty, uh, could be for both men and women. Go, uh, very, um, your eyes are very, when I feel like people see you, the first thing they notice is your amazing eyes, okay? And I think this is something that your partner really, really likes about you is that your eyes stand out. Um, you're just such a wonderful, warm soul, but at the same time, you mean business. If someone were to come up to you and start with you, you would just chop them in like two seconds and be like, excuse me, don't do that and then go on your merry way. Um, there's a very, um, for the people that are very close to you, there's a gentleness to you that they really, really like. As see here, the card of healing. I feel like your partner feels that you're very, um, that you are a very healing soul. You give them a lot of um, love and compassion. You are a very good listener. Um, feel like with you, they feel at peace. They feel like they can talk to you about anything. Um, they feel like you are a person that um, has a lot of friends, likes to go on an adventure, um, and will take the time out of your day just to help another person. You have a very caring and warm heart. Like I said again in the past though, no one will mess with you though, because the minute someone messes at you, you'll snap at them and they will never do it again. I also feel like you're very um, warm and vivacious. You're a very happy person. You do also possess some intuitive powers. Um, you just have a nice, very warm, sunny disposition about you. I feel like you're a person who likes water, who likes to be in nature. Um, who likes to travel. Your partner sees you as someone who's very fun and very playful and at times could be very childlike, 
who likes to go on crazy adventures can also be very spontaneous. Um, but at the same time, when you're alone with your partner, you just, you are that person that can just sit on the sofa with your dog and just, or your cat and just chill and just be a total, just be a total like cuddle buddy. You know what I mean? Just sit there and just be totally just relaxed. Um, you're also very affectionate. Um, feel like in the past you could have gone through some hardships with um, like meaning like hardships meaning that the reason why you're on this path where you're so loving and giving is because you've been hurt maybe a few times in the past and you never ever want someone to feel that way about you never want to project any kind of hurt or pain on someone because I feel like you've been through that already and you just want to love um there's a very cute playful side to you though that I think your partner really really likes um your partner loves those qualities about you and you just have a regalness to you but at the same time you're very down to earth um feel like your partner really loves your eyes though like loves your eyes a person I also feel like you could be a person that likes to either wear jewelry or if you don't wear jewelry and you're a guy likes to wear um, either like really nice cufflinks or a watch. But you don't mind getting your hands dirty if you have to and work around the house or maybe work on projects. You love to go out and explore the world. You love nature. You love being outdoors. And I could see you almost being a person that just likes to go outside and just smell the fresh air. Yeah, your partner really, really sees you in a very positive light. In a very, very positive light. Like the queen of fire and the child together. I, I just, I love that combination with the healing. Because not only are you so damn on point with your life and a strong person, but you have such a cute playfulness about you and you just also a very loving soul and just kind to people and that's what makes you I think so amazing to your partner is the fact that even though you can stand your ground you're still a good person you're not like um you're not nasty or stuck up or anything like that and they feel like they could just do anything with you like you would just be up to travel whenever you they feel like it you're just very spontaneous and you have a great laugh but I think they're really obsessed with your eyes and your soft touch and you just a ray of light around you because you see how the ray, how the sun is going through the trees here and you see how it looks like his hair is glowing and same thing with her even though she looks like she's in a cave, she's got her hair glowing. You see how the light is coming through on this child and this picture, there's just nothing but fire all around. I can also see too that um, you may be drawn to colors of um, like blues and purples. And if you are a woman, you definitely, you know how to, like you just know how to like, you know how to dress, you know how to do your makeup, but you really do have standout eyes for a woman or a man. And if you're a man, if this is for a guy, um, he really seriously, um, he can just, he really knows how to dress very, very well. And it's the same qualities for, you know, for a guy or a girl. Same thing, because look, he's got gorgeous hair. Um, every picture, almost in every picture, they all have beautiful hair. I would almost be inclined to say that you have light hair because in every single card, this person has light hair. Like, see this guy in the healing card? He's got light hair. This child has light hair. She's got light hair. Baby's got light hair and light hair. I mean, this is just a general reading, guys, but I tend to think that maybe your hair is lighter. It's not darker. And a very attractive person, too. And fair. But this is just a general reading because in every picture, it's almost the same skin tone, the same hair color. 
but you could just be depicting these personalities. It doesn't have to be that that's you. You could have dark hair, but it just stands out in these pictures. So I'm just going with whatever I'm seeing. But yeah, your partner definitely loves that you're just a warm, loving soul. You're spontaneous, yet you're playful. Um, you're very warm. You're very giving. The light shines on you, but you can hold your own. Um, they feel like you're adventurous. You're fun. You have a spark about you. You um, have a great laugh, amazing eyes. You know how to dress well. You know how to take care of yourself. Um, and you just have a really great warm spirit. And you just like to go outdoors and just have a good time. Okay, so that's how your partner sees you for pile two, which is very, very nice. I have like two really nice piles here. Okay, so if you resonated with this, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below. And please like the video and share it so everyone can see me, Lady Goddess. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Wow, guys, I had some really good piles, right? Okay, so that was pile two. Now let's go for pile three. How does your partner see you? Let's take a look. Do something for someone else. The Merlin. Choice. The Five of Swords and Wisdom. Okay, I feel like your partner sees you as a very wise person, um, a person who's very smart, very, um, could be very book smart, um, well-educated. Caring, nurturing, gracious. Also loves animals. But there is a side to you where I feel like your partner does not, that you don't show your partner your true self. And your partner is thinking that about you. You put a mask on for other people and you... You don't really let many people see the real you. The real, real you. Um, I feel like you're also a person who likes to have a lot of alone time. Um, you are very gracious though, and you do have, um, you're very, I feel like you're soft-spoken. You're a soft-spoken person. But I almost feel like because you enjoy so much alone time that you, your partner may almost feel like you neglect them a little bit because in that card, do something for someone else. It says, give your attention to someone else. And I feel like your partner may want a little bit more attention from you. I feel like they think that you spend maybe a little bit too much alone time. A little bit too much and I feel like because of that they don't really get to because of the fact that you are so um, well your partner feels that you're standoffish a little bit and you don't let people get close to you I feel that's a reason why you have to wear a mask around people because they don't know the real you you don't know how to show people the real you because you see here, there's two different faces with the choice. It's like you have two different faces that you show to people.
Like this is a face that you show to everyone, but your partner wants to see this face, but you won't show him that face or her. You keep it to yourself. You keep a lot of aspects to yourself about your life, about the way you grew up. You don't open up to a lot of people. I feel you and I feel that you're very, um, you like your solitude and you've been like that for a long time. You don't get too close in relationships. You don't get too close in relationships. You For a while there, I feel like you almost were afraid of commitment. And that's also something that your partner maybe has picked up along the way. But at the same time, they know if they need to go for you for advice that you're, you, you do. You are very smart. You will give them the right advice. You would never steer your partner in the wrong direction. And I feel like you feel like you truly do love your partner. However, from the way your partner's perspective is, they feel like you can be almost a little cold. And they want to get closer to you, but you won't allow that. You put up a uh, like a front with them. You won't allow that, and that's mainly because you don't know how you don't know how to let people get close to you. You spent so many years just doing things for yourself and being on your own that now that you have someone that wants to be there for you uh, and take care of you, you just you'd rather sometimes just go it alone. And I feel like it's another thing that your partner sees. Like they think that sometimes they wonder like. Does this person even love me? Do they just not want me around? And I feel like you don't see yourself that way. You see yourself as, as being caring and giving and loving in this picture and gracious. But your partner sees you as this person that just wants to go off on their own. Um, two different personalities almost. Almost very similar to Pile One. Like personality where you know you have one face that you show to certain people and then you also have a dark side to you that you just will not show to people and I'm not saying dark meaning bad like you're not a bad person you just have another completely different deep down personality that you just don't show to many people you do not take off you do not let many people see your true colors and the reason why is because the mask is taken off but you're blindfolding your face you do not want people to see you do not want them to see the real you. You will not let people see the real you. And anytime someone gets close to you, I feel like you just rather go it alone. Like you just don't want people too, too close to you. But it's funny because you feel like your partner sees you as this, but yet your partner feels this about you. They love you, but they see this. But at the same time, they really do think that you're a very smart person that, you know, whatever choices you've made in your life have always been like the right choice. People come to you for wisdom. They come to you for advice because you seem to be very level headed and very grounded. I could see you definitely being like an air sign. You're very logical in your thinking. You don't go by your emotion. You go by logic. But at the same time, your partner wants to see more of this. A little bit more kindness, a little bit more compassion, a little bit more gentleness. And you see yourself as this. But your partner wants you to be this. But I feel like for pile three, you guys know that you really, you know that you like to spend a lot of time alone. And your partner wants to get closer to you, but they just, you won't let them. But the image that you have of yourself for everyone else to see is a very, I mean, this is like, this woman looks like an angel. You're beautiful. You're a very good looking person for people who picked pile three. But you won't let your guard down. You won't let too many people get close to you. Including your own partner. 
you rather just go it alone. Going alone and doing, you may be a person who likes to read, who likes to go to school, um, very, very smart, but you just don't want people to get too close to you. You're a little, almost a little icy. But at the same time, you see yourself as being caring and loving. You know you, you think that's what you are, and I'm not saying you're not, but your partner thinks you're a little, a little standoffish, a little detached. I would just say if you feel or you know that you're the kind of person that can be a little detached, a little standoffish, that maybe just show a little bit more compassion to your partner. Because even though you may be thinking you're projecting it, maybe that's not what they're seeing. I mean, I'm guilty of that too. I've had people say, why are you so cold? And I'm like, what? I'm the nicest loving person. Sometimes you're just not aware of it. But you are a person who does really like to think to go at it alone. I'm telling you, I really see you as being a person who's very smart, very studious, very, um, you know, very good looking person, but at the same time has basically lived a life of solitude. Not mean you didn't have friends, you didn't have, you know, either like if you were married, you'd have marriages or a boyfriend or girlfriend. It's just that even though you were partnered with someone, you still had that side of you that you just wouldn't let anyone see. Sorry, but it's like you're an old soul. People come to you for knowledge. They know that you have it together. And I think that's another thing that your partner really likes about you is that you do have your stuff together. They just want you to be a little bit more loving and compassionate. And I think that's definitely the message that's resonating for me for pile three. Okay, so that ends this reading. I hope you enjoyed, guys, as I enjoyed showing you my fabulous new cards. Okay, so if you resonate with this message, please subscribe to my channel, comment down below, like my video, and share so everyone can see me, Lady Goddess. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.